Your job right now is to use the tools we have. We have two buckets, we have strainers, and we have these um, trays where we're gonna put the sample into. If we pick anything up, we want to have something underneath it to catch the stuff dripping out of it, right? That's really important. So we want to kind of have a good plan before we start doing it, right? So if we cut around the edges as best we can, we have the scoop and the shovel to put it in, we have multiple trays, because yeah. some of this is going to be really wet, and some of it's going to be a little more dry, yeah. right? So maybe we have two different trays. So you take the, the drier stuff, put that in one tray, maybe have the wetter stuff for the other. Yeah. Okay. And then we also have the buckets, so if we have, we can actually scoop up some of the water that's, that, that, that's going to fall in there and put it in the buckets. And we can strain all that. Okay. Yeah. Now cut around the edges. Thank you. Are we ready? ready? I think ready. we're ready. You're gonna try it, right? I'll hold the tray. All right, so get the tray down there next to it. You gotta swap out. Okay. So somebody's gonna cut, come in and just go and move it over, right? Oh, that'll be me. Okay, you guys ready? You can get in there. Do so you have any residual stuff? So here we go. Wait, do you can... I'm gonna work there for a while. Get into the tray. Somebody, where's the clippers? We need a load of clippers right there. Yeah, quick, 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 right there, down there. Down here? Yeah. Get him in the tray. I got it. Okay. You have that? Put it all in there. Just put it all in there, Don. More. You guys have a lot more left. So you guys can pull the cube out if you want. Just okay. kind of picture where it used to be. Yeah. I'm going to get a scoop so I can put some of the water in. You guys can use your hand and scrape all that crud into the bucket if you need to. Okay, I think that's all the water that was in the cube. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna carry it up. First thing we might want to do. That's just water. That's just the water. Hey Trey, let me get a little water in. Guys, we want to pour that. We want to pour this water into here. See, that's all the stuff that we that was actually in the water. Bring that over here. I think we should use the new small. No, trailer. here you guys. You guys can do this. Usually, what we do is we turn that over and we bang it a little bit. Right? Yeah. We just give it a little. Look at how much stuff you guys had. That's Isn't a that lot. incredible, huh? So I'm gonna put this in this tray, right? All our stuff is okay, there. Okay, this is this whole family of slugs. Ooh. And then there's these. Whoa! They're yeah. all around. Yeah. Now, so what we do is we actually take the cubic foot and we take it back to the lab and we tease it apart and we take it into little, little pieces and we look at all the creatures. So when you're asking about plankton and what's in the water and zipping around and all that, this is, we're going to collect that and we're going to take it back. And you guys are going to be in charge and we're not going to be able to go through the whole sample, but in a small amount of time, you guys are going to have to pick out different kinds of species. It is just like a thank you. What we've done is we brought that material here today, and so we're going to be sorting. So I'm going to run through really quickly so you guys see how to do this, and then we're going to set you guys free on your sample. But I just want to show you really fast. The key is just to take a small sample out, so you can use a little scoop, take a little bit, and you know, you can, you can target something if you want or not. There's going to be live stuff in there no matter what you do. Just put it in the tray. Now we're going to give it a little water, so, so you can see things. Not very much. You don't want to get it too... And again, we want to kind of prevent the muddiness of it. So we're going to have that sample there. And then you just kind of just sort through it, right? So you just look for live critters or whatever's crawling around in there. So we've got a worm. You guys... Oh, look. There's an amphipod right there that didn't even leave the spoon. So we can just put him into a cup because this all of a sudden will become the amphipod cup. And if you see a worm, like there's a worm right there, use your spoon, kind of get it low. So there we got a worm, right? Put a worm into a different cup. So this is our amphipod. We kind of look and see whether they're alike or not. And if they're different, we put them into a different cup there. Right? And we want to kind of keep the non-isopod stuff out of the cups. So That's really helpful for photography. It's like you want just the creature because you're going to, you don't want the sticks and stuff in the way. So basically, you guys see how that works? <clears throat> Pretty simple, right? 
When you're done picking it, if you ever get done picking it, you can get a new scoop. And when this is done, there'll be buckets at the end of the table and you just take your stuff where there's nothing else living or crawling around, dump it in the bucket, and that's our put back bucket. So we're gonna take that back to the pond. For instance, we can do an example. Can I grab one of yours? I have this guy. He's the roly-poly guy, the ice pot. I'm gonna come over here. So I'm gonna look across this table. I'm gonna say, where is this guy? Hmm. Right here. That looks like him. You can do the ID. I'm gonna put this guy into the cube. One. As simple as that. All right, let's go. Pour him in. Done. Go get your next one. There you go. Worms. I have a pot. Six of them. I think we just found a mosquito. Yeah. Last one in. Here we go. What is it? Clam. A clam. Cool. Bye. Great. Thank you. Collecting the contents of the cube. For the small things, you will need to go into your cube. Make a plan to collect that includes being able to document all the creatures and plants you may not have seen yet to minimize escapees. Sometimes speed matters. Plastic bag for plant material and the insects that are on them. A pillowcase for a soil sample so that very small creatures are not lost in the condensation that can occur if plastic were used. Keep the collected samples out of the sun. When it is time to sort the samples from your cube, you can do it in portions. Spread a portion of the sample out on a white surface, if a dry sample, or a tray or a dish, if a wet sample, so you can isolate all the individuals into small cups or vials as appropriate. Keep going. If you run out of time, either return the unsorted portion of the sample, or try to keep it happy and come back to it as soon as you can. <laughs>